today. It features none other than Liquid Huck, our hero. I am casting a Huck replay pack here. They are from Battle.net, so they might be custom games, might be from the ladder. Anyways, all I know is there is Huck in the game, and Huck is just such an amazing player that I wanted to cast him a lot, and here I am doing it. Now, his opponent is KDH. I don't know KGH, so I think that this might actually just be a random ladder game where KDH said, Oh my god, I played Huck. I better post this replay. And he did. I got it, and now he is getting casted. This is, once again, on Taldarim Altar. Huck is going to send out this early scout. And walling off with that pylon, once again, in the front of his natural expansion. Meanwhile, KDH doing nothing too fancy, just producing drones. He actually made that Overlord on 10 and then produced 3 drones as soon as it was done. So not opting to do the extractor trick here and waiting for that 150 minerals and 3 larvae to produce 3 drones right away. Uh, you usually don't see this from players now. Uh, Huck going whoo like the owl he is. And sending out again 2 scouting probes. So Huck actually has done this in the last game on Tal Um He has done the exact same thing, sending out one drone, one probe up here, and uh, when he sees it's not there, sending a second probe just to scout and see if there is any kind of link pressure. You can see that KDH this time, uh, not this time, but uh, getting his gas up, so we will be seeing speedlings. And maybe some pressure at the front door of Huck. In the last game, Huck actually uh, did not see... Uh, the Zerg player did not get any gas, so Huck was free to expand right after his forge. Huck decides to do that once again, but I think he will try and wall off maybe with two cannons instead of one. In the last game, actually, Huck made a huge blunder. He took out this... He had a pylon walling out right here. And he actually took out, took it out way too early and unpowered his own gateway. But uh, he made it back from that single mistake and eventually won the game against Curious. If you did not see those games, uh, that game in particular was pretty good. As well as the first games, you can check them all out. I will be posting a whole bunch of Huck games today. Now, KDH actually has 100 gas, did not start his link speed right away. He is going to start it now, I expect. Don't make me eat my words, KGH. Okay, I guess he decides not to get his link speed just yet. He is saving that 100 gas for later and actually going for a early expand. He will start working on these rocks so he can get his third as soon as those go down. And Huck now very safe to do whatever he wants behind this wall. Actually already rallying his first unit to the front here maybe for maybe a stalker for some scouting. Cybernetic score now going down for Huck behind this wall just to reinforce it. Double gas, as we said earlier, double gas usually means for Huck a lot of sentries, and because Huck has one of the best, if not the best, sentry control and force field control. Now, second queen already up for KDH will put a creep tumor down and make its way to the second base. So creep spread already starting. That is a good thing for KDH. Nine second setting second cannon going up for Huck. Still no third and fourth gas. He did get it last game at about 40 food, if I'm not mistaken. And first sentry now getting chrono boosted out behind the wall. And last game, Huck actually took down this pylon quite early, uh, only when he had two sentries. I can't see him actually moving out with only two sentries, which is why I found that he took this pylon down very early. And now his opponent, KDH, already going for a third base at the 6 minute and 30 second mark. So that is a very, very fast third base. I wonder why he's not putting it down right away, and there he goes. Finally, and Zerg speed is now done, so we will have map control at least for a tiny bit. And still no lair tech from KDH, just now mining gas again, getting his second gas 
and just saturating these two bases now you see the harvester count is almost dead equal but with that larva in jack kdh should be ahead in just a moment now now three more gateways going down for huck producing more sentries warp gate and plus one upgrade so this is very familiar we have seen the exact same build from huck in the last game on the exact same map against a zerg again this overlord gonna spot two gateways but not gonna spot the three more in back here so one less gateway actually from Huck from the last game. Now these sentries killing his own pylon so they can get out and starting to harass these three zerglings that will run away. And during that time Huck actually got two more gases and still not choosing a tech path just yet. We will have to wait and see. Third base from KGA, KDH already up. He will start saturating this. And a Hydra Den from KDH. Wise choice because Huck will not have any Colossus at least for a very long time. And Hydras are very good against everything except Colossus from the Protoss arsenal. This queen gonna make its way to the third base, inject some larva and two spine crawlers in front of KDH's base. Very wise since he has absolutely no units to speak of. He has six slings and that is all he has been producing since the start of this game. Now sentries are very good against units but against spine crawlers they are pretty much useless because force fields don't affect spine crawlers and if they want to actually attack spine crawlers, they have to be in range of the spine crawlers themselves. So these sentries are not going to be able to attack the front base of KGA, KDH, at least without uh, any stalkers or zealots. Now, KDH actually almost starting to saturate his third base. You can see 60 to 56 harvesters. Huck already gearing up for a third base. You can see he has his pylons and cannons in place gonna throw down that nexus as soon as those rocks are destroyed and again with the robotics facility and the twilight console in the exact same place so I w this is actually looking exactly like the last game with the exception that there was a third gateway here the rest is exactly the same the exact same stalker count blink going up Level 2 actually going up a bit earlier. These links gonna counter attack. Might force a cancel here on the Nexus. No, get, they get thwarted away by the two cannons. And now this army will be able to make force them to run back. Now, as I was saying, plus 2 is actually a bit earlier than the last game. That is what he actually used that 150 minerals on. So he is opting to get faster upgrades instead of more units this game now nice creed spread by kdh a lot of hydras and absolutely no roaches the roach warren just on its way now so kgh could do a lot of damage here hydras are very very good against gateway units engaging a bit prematurely with the links here in, in danger of getting force fielded force felled force fielded i don't know how that is uh conjugated i guess but a uh, very poor force fields here by Huck, actually blocking his own army and not trapping any units. I guess it was more defensive just to prevent uh, these units from engaging forward anymore. These Hydras on the high ground will be able to actually hit these units on the low ground, losing two sentries and a stalker now. Engaging nice little force fields, actually cutting off half the, half the Hydras and being able to pick off the front ones here. Uh, actually Huck doing a very good job at engaging this despite his low ground advantage. He could now blink up if he so decides to because blink is finished and with that observer spawning on high ground he can do a lot of damage here. That spine crawler is almost done and Huck will decide to just walk away. He did do a lot of damage and great engagement here. If you see the units lost, uh, resources lost, he's actually way ahead, uh, almost, almost losing only half of the Zerg's, um, <laughs> Zerg's army and you can see that Overlord spread is great by KDH. You can see he has full vision of the map except for H inside Huck's base. 
So I have I have ra rarely seen uh, creep overlord spread this good, but these are all actually in danger of getting picked off by these blink stalkers. If these blink stalkers decide to actually visit every single base, KDH could lose about 10 to 12 overlords. That is a lot of overlords, but Huck does not know about this um, epic. Overlord spread and now maybe Gary off for fourth base actually gonna go scout the map with some probes just to spot for a Zerg fourth base Zerg opting to stay on three bases at least for a while Carapace level one now done and attack melee attack level one started uh, he is 2-1 already on his army, but Huck is already 2-0 on that Colossus, doing 19 damage per shot of Thermal Lance. Those upgrades are so good on these Colossus because they double the damage, well, they actually do plus, four, uh, plus 2 damage since there is uh, 2 attacks. I'm not quite sure on those stats, so you'll have to forgive me. Now Huck is placing some pylons across the map. Uh, might want to eventually gear up to take these expo, but I think it's just to be able to warp in units all across the map. So nice pylon placements and overlord placements by both these players, but these pylons will get intercepted by these links, and that is a lot of money gonna go to waste. Warping in four zealots should be able to take care of these links, or at least defend these pylons for now. This pylon is actually great for Huck. As soon as this hatchery finishes, he will be able to warp in a whole bunch of units on the low ground and completely take it off or maybe just counterattack while he is putting pressure at the front base. You can see the Zerg actually is walking up, up towards Huck's main base, but these stalkers will be able to intercept them before. I wonder what happened to that Colossus. I don't know where it is it should be with the main army there it is there they are the two colossus now gonna try to defend this third base of zerg player actually engaging here in this little narrow choke not a good place to engage especially with colossus on the field they can do huge damage to this army and the zerg knows he cannot retreat with these slow hydras he decides to turn around and engage but huck will absolutely decimate this army there is no question here, these Colossus will just do huge damage. So a little blunder here by the Zerg player actually moving forward way too way too far ahead actually and these Hydra, even the Hydras are in danger of getting picked off. If Huck decides to blink forward twice, he could maybe catch up to them, but with the spine crawlers on the high ground they will be safe now. This hatchery now done. For KDH and Huck knows about it, he knows, he sees the creep at least and now he will be engaging here after killing this whole army. He decides that he is far enough ahead to actually just push forward and take this game. Will he go for that third base? Actually I think he should go for either the expansion or the third base while he warps in four zealots here and do huge damage to the fourth base. Decides to actually back off. Well, maybe wisely so because there are now actually eight corruptors on the field for KDH, which could do huge damage to these Colossus. Huck deciding to actually just pull back, wait for some high Templars, and max out before engaging. He is four supply to maxed, and we will just have to wait and see what Huck actually decides to do here. These high Templars don't yet have enough for Storm, and Storm, as a matter of fact, isn't even finished now. Charge on the way as well as armor level one. These units have plus three, and Huck actually getting shields level one before armor level one. Uh, particular here, I wonder why he did that. Players usually go for armor before shields, but I guess Huck decides uh, why not just have fun with this. Now, huge, huge engagement here in the middle of the map, and <laughs> wow, that was epic. There was actually, you can hear that, there is actually a lightning strike next to my house when this engagement happened and that was kind of epic for well if you're sitting where I am I don't know if you actually heard that thunder but that was 
Nice timing on nature with Huck and GG KDH actually runs out of this game and how weird was that lightning strike as soon as these two armies engage with the Archons and the Storms. Wow that was epic and stay tuned for this fourth Huck game.